You've just completed your very first pressure test. We will taste all five ravioli. Kayla, bring your raviolo al uovo up to the front, please. Overall, I'm pretty confident about the pressure test because Kayla's in there. I honestly believe that she'll be the worst. Kayla? Hello, chef. Nice presentation, and I see you have some shaved Parmigiano on top. Yes, chef. Well done. How did the crispy sage turn out for you? I get a little crunch. Well done. Let's try the big test. Does that make you happy? That makes me really happy. <laughs> The egg was very nice. So was the pasta. But not bad for a first time out. These people who say you cannot cook, these guys up there, you're wrong. You can cook. Thank you, Chef. Watch out. I can cook, and I'm going to kick all your butts. Eric, please bring your dish up. I can feel that's good pasta. I mean, just with a knife. It's everything that needs to be in this dish here. Ingredient-wise, yes, chef. Where's the Parmesan cheese? So the only thing I'm noticing here that is troubling me is the amount of onion and sage that you have as a garnish, which would overpower the dish. I'm correct in thinking that you've overpowered something so delicate. Mm. It tastes more like an onion ravioli. Josh, you're next. You've achieved nice balance with the sauce. Let's see what happens when I cut this. The pasta is perfectly rolled out. I mean, it's so thin. It's like paper. It's beautiful. Thank you, Chef. It's just stunning. You should be very proud of that dish. Thank, Thank you so much, Chef. No Parmesan on it. No Parmesan? No. It is a little under-seasoned, and I would prefer to have a little more ricotta in there. But you nailed the texture of the dough. Thank you. Brooke, would you please come up with your dish? Brooke, how do you feel about your dish? Um, <clears throat> I definitely felt the pressure in that pressure test. So as you can see, I didn't have a chance to get that piece of sage fried. Maybe a little Parmesan cheese missing? How do you think the egg's gonna be? I'm praying. <sighs> that works. I feel the dough is a little on the thick side, and therefore a tad underdone. <sighs> Better not dead in there. Less is more. Agreed, Chef. I hope that I can get my nerves under control and show you what I can really do in the kitchen. You only have one chance, unfortunately. It's dead. It's MasterChef Canada's first pressure test. And Brooks Dish has failed to impress. It's dead. I'm hoping by some miracle that the judges see something in me and they want me to stay in the competition. <sighs> Mike, you're the only one remaining. Bring your dish up. I didn't even get a chance to wipe my plate. This dish does not look Master Chef quality. It looks like amateur hour at the pasta house. Crispy sage. And you did put the Parmesan cheese on top. Eggs oozing out. That pasta is really, 
really thick and hard. I think I need a steak knife. Yeah, I think so, too. It's not a good thing. I'd be very worried if I were you. I am. If I go home today, I'd totally be upset. I didn't come here to get 14th place. This was a very challenging pressure test. Some of the results were surprising. Everybody, please come up to the front. Josh and Kayla, please step forward. Josh, there was a big problem with your sauce. It was so good, we wanted more of it. Kayla, the other home cooks have expressed doubts about your abilities. And it looks like you may have had the last laugh. Your dish emerged as the best. Mine? Well done. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Join the other home cooks in the gallery. Thank you guys. I had something to prove today and I went into this challenge knowing that I was gonna kick some butt and I think I did a really good job. Eric, please step forward. Was your raviolo perfect? No, chef. No. But it was good, you're safe. Thank you, chef. I feel much better, relieve some stress, but I got way too confident and that's not gonna happen again. I'm hoping and praying and hoping and praying that by some miracle I'm staying. I'm disappointed in myself, I'm disappointed in my performance, but I think I deserve to stay a bit more than Brooke. Mike and Brooke, your dishes were deeply disappointing. So now, Mike, time has come. Take off your apron. And head up to the gallery, you're safe. <sighs> Brooke, I'm sorry. That was an honor, thank you. Thank you, Shen. You've got drive and talent. Don't stop cooking. And you should be very proud of yourself. The spark for cooking was lit in me a long time ago. You could be whatever you want to be in this world if you believe in yourself. And I've always believed in myself, and nothing's going to change. 